guys, it's Anna. Bienvenido otra vez a mi canal. My camera keeps dying, so I'm gonna try to be super fast. This is gonna be another one of my TJ Maxx and Marshall's Get Ready With Me makeup looks. It's not my best job. I feel like I need to practice again with makeup. I'm gonna have to do this on my phone, which I do not look cute. <laughs> Ew. This is not like my best makeup ever. I feel like I need to practice some and that was my first time using most of these products also So I didn't know like how they were gonna work together and all that and I just need to practice my makeup more This is this look it was supposed to be a subtle like date night look and then it turned into this messness That we have going on here primer. I'm using the Burberry Fresh glow luminous fluid base. This one's in the color new radiance. I got this from TJ Maxx and Marshalls Vanessa's here, so if I look down, that's why. Ew, this looks nasty. Ew! The, the like, chunk from that, from, like, just opening it, just flew somewhere. Wow, my skin feels so nice from that. It's, like, really hydrating. That's what you're gonna say? Because you just did all that effects, so you might as well just... Don't make any crazy faces because you gotta speed this up. Then the four foundation, because Vanessa said that I should use... Burberry stuff today. I don't know which colors gonna be best for me. I have three different colors I think I mainly got this color to use as concealer. I think maybe I'm gonna mix together number 36 which is dark sable which is this darker one this one together, which is the number 38 warm honey. This is my first time trying this foundation Does this look really orange or is it just me? You're looking at a completely different type of chocolate brown. <laughs> oh my god. That's not your color at Oh well. I think you might have applied too much. It looks hella orange. Yeah. Oh my god. Scratch this shit. You can't keep going. No, I can fix it. Watch. Whoa, I'm scared of myself. Finally remembering to cream contour first. So I'm just gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills stick foundations, but I'm obviously gonna use it as contour. I asked for one paper towel. <laughs> Three different colors here though, cause I don't know which color is gonna be best, especially since I look like an Oompa Loompa now. Fun times. Walnut, mink, and caramel. Caramel, caramel, caramel. I think I'm gonna use the color walnut to cream contour with. Hopefully this is gonna be okay. These blended well though the other day, right? Yeah, I really like them. <gasps> that wasn't good. I like did it on the top like in a weird spot this one I'm using the real techniques beauty blender or beauty sponge or whatever to blend everything out I didn't get mine from TJ Maxx or Marshall's, but I know sometimes you can find them there. Oh my god This isn't blending in though. Is it because we used I a think brush? You brush? But it's gonna move around on my foundation. Oh my god, but it's really like not it doesn't even give you enough time to like blend it in your face The foundation though is already cracking around my mouth like it's already setting into my crease. To bake under my eyes though, I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder and just the color Translucent. It's my first time using this. Whoa, it's got a little poof. Set my <laughs> foundation all over my face. Okay. <laughs> I'm using the <laughs> Maybelline, <laughs> Maybelline Fit Me. It's just the loose finishing powder. I'm using mine in the color 30, which is medium deep. <laughs> Are you all right? I just didn't have a different powder. That's going to be like my skin tone that I'd want to use. So I don't understand what you're doing. <laughs> you're making me nervous. <laughs> How strong are you? That's embarrassing. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's funny. Why do I feel like I look crazy? You do. I do, right? Yes. It's like the color. The, uh, none of the colors have been fitting you. I, it started with your foundation. Kind of set the contour though. I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs Hi-Fi filter. It's just the one with like the contour and like setting powder, I guess. I'm gonna use obviously this darker color. And I'm gonna go over everything, like everywhere I put the bronzer. I like the contour color. You're making me real nervous. Real nerviosa right now. Does it look crazy? No, not anymore. Not like as bad as it did. Like I'd want to go out in public with you. 
for my brows. For my blush, I'm going to be using the Too Faced the Love Flush um, blush in the color How Deep Is Your Love. These I know you can get from like TJ Maxx and Marshalls right now. I think they were like kind of popping up again. This on, I just got that in my eyeball. For a highlighter. I'm gonna use this Burberry. I think this is actually an eyeshadow. Sheer gold. Yeah, so this is actually an eyeshadow, but I'm gonna try to use this as like a cream base highlighter. But it might be like too glittery. I've never actually tried to use this as a highlight yet. Is it coming off? Am I thing? Does it look super glittery? Mm, it kind of looks nice with the gold. Let me see your nose. Do the same angle again with your nose. Oh yeah, no, I think it looks good. Uh, a little bit on the kind of like to go over top the highlighter, I'm gonna go in with the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. These like are so long. I feel like I'm forgetting something with my face. How do I look? Ugly? <laughs> this is the Glam Glow Glow Setter Makeup Setting Spray. I forget if this is like He's a good spray. spray. My stress away. What? What the? F <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. You should see your face in that. You literally go like this. <laughs> your cheeks literally elevated each time. She said, I like my face wet. How you know it's on there. But so I'm gonna add some more of my bake because I'm gonna go into my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna bake again just like under my eyes and also kind of like under my little contour. Did it do you even see contour? Yes. It happened? Yes. It happened on my face? Okay. For my eyeshadow, I don't want to go too crazy today because I feel like if I try to do something intense, it's going to come out super ugly. I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs <laughs> eyeshadow palettes. I have three different ones here because I don't know really which one I want to use. I don't know why we're laughing right now. I have the Dreamer. <laughs> do you have one that's like pinky? Lolita and the Starlet. So I'm going to go in first then with this color right here. They don't really have color names. So I'm just going to put this one all over my lid. This is way cool toned, like way more cool toned than I really wanted this look to be, but like I guess that's what's happening, yeah. Go into the Dreamer palette just to use the brown because she really wants me to use the other palette. This one's pretty too though, right? I like it. This is way darker than I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna go on top though, cause it's like super dark. Like, am I gonna have to do a wing liner? Yes. Yes. Sorry. But I don't want to do wing liner and this. Mm. Okay. Right? I'm leaning more towards this one that's actually pink instead of like this like lavender one. I like the pink one. Yeah. So this is the Stila liquid eyeshadow. It's the Shimmer and Glow liquid eyeshadow in the color Carefree. That brown came out looking black. That looks bad. <laughs> Restart. I told you I can't do makeup anymore. Are you supposed to use a brush with this, like after you put it on? I, like I honestly want you to try again. Why does it look that bad? I just like don't know what to do to save this. So I'm using the ColourPop She Palette to try to save this look as best as I possibly think I can. I'm gonna try to maybe go in with this purple color. Do we think that's gonna make it look even crazier? This is way darker than I wanted to go today. Do you think it'll look bad even when I do? I think you should turn that whole thing to try to get it purple. But then it's gonna look, it'll look really well. I'm gonna try to do some liquid liners. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX matte liquid liner. Never mind, because this is all dried up. Just because I'm tired of looking through everything, I'm gonna try to use this one. It's the Jessie's Girl liquid eyeliner. It wasn't looking like it's coming out too well. For lashes, Whoa. if I can try to like make this look better. Am I looking better now, or do I still look like struggle? You look better now. 
but it's still struggle. I'm gonna use the Lily Lashes. This is in the style Mykonos. So I'm gonna put these lashes on and then I'll be right back to do my lips and I guess look at whatever else I can fix. I'm trying to be quick because the battery's probably gonna die like any second. I didn't like the way the contour is looking, so I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder in the color Cocoa. So I'm just gonna add this a little bit, yeah. You think that's maybe what it was on my face? And so I wanted to kind of go on top of the highlight a little bit also just because I didn't think it was like enough. I'm going to go in with the Smashbox palette. This is just the Spotlight palette in pearl. Maybe this one. For lips, I'm just going to use this lip liner. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Pencil. It's in the color Nice and Spicy. So I'm just going to overline. For lipstick though, I'm going to go in with these matte colors. They were just like the little minis from like two different sets. I think I'm going to go in first with Boca. That is it for this makeup look using some of my TJ Maxx and Marshalls finds. Hope you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you want to see more of my TJ Maxx and Marshalls get ready with me makeup looks um, and we can get that popping. Hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see some more of these looks and let me know if you guys have any of these products that I used for today's look. And I will see you guys in the next video. Muchísimas gracias. Bye guys.